see what I'm actually doing here, but I'm just showing you the last finishing touches that I'm doing to this line. It's, it's a fuller picture um, than what I've been doing, but it's a personal picture, so I'm not going to show all of it. It's just don't 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 ever be frightened to use the screen mode or the multiple it's the multiple mode isn't it just to bring out some some of the highlights and and the um the shadows because it's because they really do make the picture pop but I'm actually working on the hair oh, the hair's taking me hours it's taking me days actually just 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 little tiny details actually make the whole picture pop so this is basically what I've been doing I did use a um, photograph of of a lion but I've added certain details um, of my own changed the features slightly I don't know whether you can see that very well. I mean, it's just, just these little details that make everything pop out. Just so they pick up all the little tiny hairs. I mean, what you've got to remember is that the light reflects off of, off of the hairs. It's not just one big thing. And what I do, when I do make my decisions of where I'm going to have the colour, I just get the little smudge brush and I just smudge them in a little bit. Just to get the... Just so they're not too fine, the detail. And it just makes everything pop. Everything blends in. I mean, the, don't be don't be scared to use the, the the smudge stick because it does. You can. It's just like using a paintbrush. You can move things. You can move the paint around as you would, or you can move the colour around as you would with a paintbrush. And there you have it. It's not finished. I've got a lot of hair to do. Hair is my worst nightmare. Hair in hands. But there you go. Hope I've given you a little bit of a, a lesson on how to how to use how to use certain features on Photoshop.